How's it going guys? Brian and Noah here at Triple B. And today we're going to talk about which snakes would make a very good first snake as a pet and what you need to do before we're you get to, a snake. We're going to talk about street sweepers. And we're going to talk about street sweepers. You're watching Triple B TV. Because he was scared. And he thought that you were gonna, he thought you were a big orange ship. See how he's, he's going at you? So, the first thing that is very important before you get a snake is you do all your research. Now, by research, I mean reading books, checking online sources, talking to other more experienced snake keepers is definitely gonna be one of the biggest things that'll help you out. Get an idea of what somebody else's experience is and what you can expect. A lot of people recommend either ball pythons or corn snakes as first snakes. And either one of those, I think, is a good idea for different reasons. Uh, ball pythons are very docile and don't move very fast. So if that's something that is tough for you to deal with, is a snake moving around very quickly, then a ball python is definitely something that'll work for you. The one thing about ball pythons, or the two things about ball pythons, are that they can be picky eaters if their husbandry is not on point. And that can be really frustrating for a new owner if the snake doesn't eat for you know two weeks or even three weeks or even three months. That can be very disheartening for a new owner. So that's one thing against ball pythons as a first snake that I would say. And they also require a certain amount of humidity and they're not native here to the United States, which also makes them a little more difficult to keep, I think. And uh, although they can make a very good first snake, I personally would lean towards something like a North American colubrid, especially if you're here in the United States, because we're already living in their natural environment. Because of that reason, they're much easier to keep. They don't have the same humidity requirements that other snakes do. They eat fairly well, and they don't get too big. What kind of snake do you think is a good first snake for a kid? Uh, a corn snake. A corn snake? Yeah. So you heard it from Noah first, corn snake is the best first snake for a kid. They don't get too big, they eat well, and like I said, especially if you're here in the United States, North American colubrid is definitely the way to go. Now the reason I'm even bringing this up is I recently rescued a snake from another kid who had gotten an articulated python as his first snake, which I would not recommend to anybody, really. I mean, if you've never had a snake before, a reticulated python is just not the way to go. They can be a bit more defensive. They got bigger teeth. If it's, you know, it's not too big a deal to take a bite from a snake, but if you're getting scared of getting bit from a snake, then a reticulated python might not be the way to go. I'm gonna bring him out right now so we can check him out. Watch out, Noah. I'm gonna go right behind your head here, okay? Another thing you want to make sure before you get your snake is have your setup ready. Have your temperatures dialed in, have your cages ready. As you can see back here, I've got all kinds of empty cages just ready for possible future snakes. Just have your full setup ready and have everything you need ready before you get the animal. Don't go to the pet store, buy the snake and the cage all at the same time. Get all your equipment first. Make sure you have all the equipment set up correctly and then get your snake. So this little guy, he's definitely a little defensive. I mean, he's a super dwarf reticulated python, and they tend to be a little bit more active than the mainland reticulated pythons. The main attraction to them for people is that, you know, supposedly they don't get as big, which is, is the case, depending on how you feed them. Well, you see, I didn't even hook him, and so he's, he's doing a little better, better already. I've had him for a little while. He's getting used to stuff. He did already bite me once this morning, so he's definitely still a little scared and not quite used to being handled. And, Noah, are you, are you hoping to get bit on your foot or something? No. No? You might want to back your feet up a little bit there, bud. Why? Just because this snakey is a little bit scared still. He's still trying to figure out that we're not going to hurt him and that we're not going to eat him, so sometimes that he'll bite because he gets scared and he thinks that we're gonna hurt him and so he's trying to protect himself. But some snakes don't protect themselves because some snakes don't bite. Mm. We have some snakes that don't bite, you're right. We have some snakes that have never bit anybody and probably never will. No. That's because they're not as scared and they, they feel safe with us. Yeah. Yeah. 
der alte Schnitt hieß, hieß in der Trasse gefüllt. Und der Schnitt hieß, du warst dabei, dass das, das alte Schnitt hieß, sind wir die Freunde. <laughs> yes, they think we're their, we're their friends. That'd be the only, the only thing that could possibly explain it. So, this guy is already better. I had him out earlier this morning, and he bit me right there on the back of my hand. Let's see if that'll focus in right here. Can I see the sneaky bright jump? Right there, I think, is the bite. Yeah, that's it. And so it's pretty minor, you know. Is it's not. It's not. That the, the bite. That's the bite. So it's not. It wasn't anything, you know. It's. Oh. <laughs> you just get bit. <laughs> no. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe you did itch me. I don't think I itched you, but no. so I think I think Noah just got bit right now because he got a little too close and Snakey got a little scared. So he bit you, bud, because he was scared, and he thought that you were gonna. He thought your big orange shirt. See how he's he's going at you, because he's afraid. And he thinks that you're trying to hurt him. And so he's trying to protect himself. You see how he's getting all kind of geared up there and ready for another bite? Because he thinks he thinks that you might come at him and try and eat him. He's just really scared right now. Yeah. And so this is how this snake was for this kid who's 12 years old. And um, he couldn't handle the biting, you know, or the, the rearing up and the snake being defensive. And so luckily he found me and I was able to, you know, take him and give him a good home where eventually with a little training that this snake will will calm down I, I'd be willing to bet I can't speak for all snakes but I'm almost certain that I can get this snake to calm down and not be quite so defensive with a little bit of training and my dad is actually going to be taking this snake at some point because he's into snakes too Die. But yeah he's just he's just a little bit scared and we're, we're gonna work on him he's Die. yes no and do I guess me as I don't like that kind of snake to bite me. Yeah, you don't. It, nobody likes to get bit by a snake. But you know the thing is, it, it didn't hurt that bad, right? No. You're not crying, and it didn't hurt you too bad, right? It was just kind of a little tickly. Yeah, a little tickly. But so I guess the main point of this video is to tell you not to get a reticulated python as your first snake. You know, have another snake that's a little smaller and something you can get used to. If you really want to get a reticulated python as your first snake and I'm not going to deter you from doing it. Just make sure you're really, really ready and really ready to take on a commitment because you're not always going to find somebody who's willing to take them off your hands. This is a life we're talking about here. It's not just a toy. Do your research. Don't get a reticulated python <laughs> as your first snake. That's my take on it. People are going to do what they're going to do, but that's what I've got to say about it. Yes. Noah, you ready to call it a day? Or do you want to say something about street sweepers? Yeah, street sweepers between the street. So the street can be between. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Next week is going to be our one year anniversary here at Triple B. It'll be our 52nd episode. And we're going to do a whole entire snake family update. We're going to go through every single snake that we've got here. I know there's been quite a few people asking for something like that, so we'll go through every single snake. It's going to be a long episode. So we'll see you next week, and until then, you guys take care. Hey guys, so we're sitting down here with Nick, and he just brought me a reticulated python. He, he got it as his, his first pet, which of course most people recommend don't do that, and it's for a reason is that they're, they can be a little, you know, defensive and they're not necessarily the best first snake. To his credit, he didn't just dump it, you know, he found a place to give it a responsible home and also luckily Jesse down at Freedom Breeder is gonna hook him up with a baby ball python which would be a little more manageable for him. All in all, it's good, but, and also to his credit, this snake is a bit defensive, you know, it's, it can be a little unnerving. Let's take a look. I've already had him out and handled him, so he might not be as bad. Yep, see, he knows me already. But the first time I opened the tub, he was definitely biting a little bit. But if you're afraid of getting bit, it's it can be a scary thing. But there he is. Nick, you want to say anything to everybody out there? No. No? No, okay, that's fine. So let, th let that be a lesson to any of you guys thinking about getting a reticulated python as your first snake or, or any snake that's going to, you know, just got to be ready. You got to be ready for him. You got to do your research. Don't, don't get a... 
unless you're just somebody who's really strong, who's ready to take some a couple of bites or, or whatnot, you know, don't don't get a reticulated python as your first snake. Um, Nick, if you're watching this, it's okay, man. We all make mistakes, but the good thing is that you know you found him a good home, and you didn't just kind of dump him out there because you didn't think you could handle him. So, but yeah, guys, don't get a retake as your first snake. Are we done? Yep.